morning. So I wanted to talk to you. Um, can you tell me uh, who you are and what brings you to Web Summit? Barbara Martin Coppola, and I'm Chief Digital Officer for uh, Inca, which is IKEA um, in 30 countries. And um, I lead uh, digital globally for the company. And uh, I joined IKEA about a year and a half ago. Yeah. What brings me to uh, the Web Summit? Well, I've been uh, talking actually about digitalization and also uh, the journey that companies need to have to go from a customer-centric world into a people-centric world um, and actually be positive with society and the planet at the same time. Oh, wow. Um, so what role do people have in a successful digital transformation? People are the most important uh, part of digital transformation. It's about new ways of working. It's about leading in a new way. It's about entrepreneurship. And, um, and people are at the core of all of it. Um, so it's been actually fascinating to see how much of this is happening at IKEA coming from a brick and mortar um, leading retailer globally to actually a, a, a powerful uh, and really, really fast growing digital um, furnishing uh, company. So. so what does digital mean for IKEA? Digital means pretty much everything. <laughs> it's, um, let's start with meeting the customer, of course, and everything that IKEA is digitally uh, to interface for purchase, uh, all, all type of uh, interactions in the store. So the omni-channel IKEA is very much powered by digital. Then is um, digital is what we actually offer um, to the co-workers inside. So as decision making, data centered uh, world and, and really you know, this um, new tools that are really important, powered by AI and uh, for finance, for HR, for the co-workers in the store. And, um, and then it's actually the foundation in the company, all the engineering, the backbone, that is to enable all the applications to run really fast and modular. Wow. Uh, all of it is around people though. So all this world, all this transformation is people-led and for a purpose or for a business need. That's really fascinating. So it sounds like you're leveraging a lot of this technology, but it's kind of, it's behind the scenes. It's not really necessarily evident to the, to the user, to the purchaser, that there's all this technology that's making their experience so much better. Exactly. There is a lot behind us like an iceberg. So what they would see is definitely the website, the app, a lot of different services with augmented reality to see the furniture in your living room, you know, through your phone, um, design experiences or putting actually a wardrobe together through, you know, um, 3D images. So really interesting added value uh, solutions. But then indeed, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There is a whole world beneath uh, and that is you know, just empowering and, and putting the whole thing together. That's really beautiful. So I, I imagine with people being so important to this process that it's really important that you have diverse viewpoints and, you know, cognitive diversity. And so what, what role does diversity play in, in, you know, having all these great technologies to serve the customer? I believe that um, companies, in order to compete, they need to have diversity in their workforce and they need to be very inclusive. And uh, one of my favorite topics actually is uh, gender equality because I come from uh, a career in tech. I worked for uh, companies uh, around the world actually, um, Google, Samsung, uh, Texas Instruments, Grubhub. In, from engineering school all my life, it's been gender unbalanced. And so my surprise was really big when I joined Takia and I saw 49% of uh, managers are actually women and 54% of total workforce is actually women. women. Um, and, and I've seen how this is really affecting positively uh, the performance, the collaboration, the, the diversity of views and open-mindedness. 
Uh, so I would really encourage any company uh, to get to that level of uh, balance because it, it brings benefit, it makes business sense and it's the right thing to do for the society. Oh, I love it. Um, finally, I want to make sure that I touch on, IKEA has this tremendous reputation for sustainability. How does that play into the work that you do? Sustainability is embedded in everything we do. And um, uh, IKEA has uh, put really, really ambitious goals. Um, by 2030, IKEA will be climate positive. Uh, that means that we will reduce the emissions, um, not neutral, we will reduce it. And we're going to do that through uh, big movements uh, in sustainable energy, in uh, all vehicles that do uh, deliveries in the cities are going to be electric. It's already the case in Shanghai, it's coming to the other cities. Um, we're going to have actually by 2030, all products sold by IKEA would be made by recycled or renewed material. Wow, so you're absolutely making the world better than you found it. That's fantastic. We have to. It's a responsibility. <laughs> oh. um, and and uh, I would say small, medium, big size of companies need all to adapt um, what we call people centricity. So going beyond the customer and actually taking care of the surroundings, the, the society and the planet and really have a positive impact is really, really important for all of us. That's fabulous. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. I really appreciate it.